Today we're going to look at piston size with regards to the two-stroke. Here we've got a 74 millimeter piston and the pistons are proud of the block so if we don't do something with the head and the head gasket once we exceed the original 71 millimeter bore size we're going to have an interference issue. So today we're going to look real quick at what we need to do to the head to make things fit. This is an uh, untouched head right now and if Earl flips this over we look at it, first thing he'll do is on the back side here he'll take a little cut with a file or a, or a flat sand it, just knock off any high edges we've got then he'll take it and put it on the lathe, or on the mill here, excuse me and he's going to tie it down and then we're going to do a cut across the surface of it, or the head of it called decking. We're going to deck the top of the head and make a nice clean cut there. Then once that's done it'll end up just like this head here. We'll flip it over, bolt it down and now what we need to do is run another light cut across the top. This one's already had a cut. It took about three thousandths to clean it up. This is a, a virgin one. hasn't been cut yet. And you can see the problem we have here. You have to maintain about a twenty-eight and a half thousandths gap between the combustion chamber area and the flat part of the cylinder head. So when we lay across there and measure with a feeler gauge, we should get around 28 and a half thousandths there of clearance. It's not an exact thing. We checked this one. This one factory was uh, about 38. So it's it's not exact, but if you get it in that 28 and a half, you know, 30 thousandths, you'll be fine. And again, that what that'll do is it, here's a 74 millimeter piston. If I try to put this in here, we can see that the bore of the head is too small and that will not fit in there. This head we've already relieved the area out to 74.2 millimeter and now that little puppy fits in there and moves and we got a little bit of cushion room and that's what we've got to do. What we'll do next now is we've got to have a special tool that's the same angle as the plane on the on the head here and we're going to cut this down. Here's a special tool we've, we've made for the mill and it's got the same angle as the combustion chamber angle and then we'll drop this area down once this is once this flat surface is true we'll drop this down to where we, reach, we get back to that 28, 29 thousandths area. What happens is people flat sand these or plane them and they never relieve the area down in here yeah so you end up with an improper crush area I think a squelch area is what we used to call it when I went to college but uh, that area gets off it can cause detonation pinging combustion problems um, things we really don't want to have so here's one that's even been welded on someone's tried to fix it up a little bit but uh, we got to get this area back down deeper on this one here because it's a 74 millimeter piston we have to enlarge the whole chamber to begin with and then drop our angle down to get our 28 and a half 30 thousandths clearance there so that's what we're going to do when when all three holes are done We'll then take one more light cut across the top to make sure everything's nice and true and it should be good to go. So that's what you've got to do to any time you exceed standard bore size which is 71. So if you go with a 71 and a half, I know a lot of guys are using 71 and a halfs now. You've got to make your head bigger and then your head gasket, we've got to use a bigger head gasket too. Here's a stock head gasket. You can see that doesn't fit in there. They'll just barely fit on a virgin stock one, but here's a 74 millimeter head gasket. And those little guys should fit in there nice and easy. So it's the head and the head gasket have to be relieved, otherwise you'll bolt this puppy together, spin it over, and it's going to lock up on you on the first rotation. You might get lucky if you haven't done this, and the head gasket may give you just enough clearance, but you are going to have trouble with it as things get flying through in higher RPM. So be sure and do that anytime you exceed 71, 71 millimeter.